Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for more survivalist and in this case talking about the problem that we're seeing all over the world right now. I'm not talking about the pandemic, I'm talking about the loss of freedom. Pretty much every country around the world to some extent is, is seeing. Before you go on with the video, if you haven't got them already, more survival manual, surviving the economic collapse, you definitely want to get this one. Street survival skills, I strongly suggest you do as well. And bugging out and relocating, I think these three, my books, are going to be a good material for what's happening pretty much all over the world. And the news is this, that Omicron, the, the great villain, is 80% less risk of hospitalization, so it means that we have less freedom because logic and common sense does not apply anymore to the new normal world we now live in, I guess. We're in some weird matrix where common sense and logic... No, Fernando, you don't understand. It is less dangerous, but it's more contagious, so there's going to be more people needing to go to the hospital, and that's you know going to be the end of the world, apparently, or... It's not going to be stopping you from getting infected even if you got the shot because that's been more than proving enough. So that's why you still have to keep on giving up your freedom. But at the same time, if you don't get it, you're not a socially aware person because it is not going to be stopping you from contracting it and spreading it to others. It doesn't make any sense. If this is just a matter of the risk I personally take and the risk I personally have is 80% less than with the previous one, why on earth am I having less freedom? Why? Because people get sick? Because people die? You know, Let me tell you, people have been getting sick and dying from the dawn of time. It's always been this way. You always make decisions every single day of your life. If you get sick with the flu, if you just get this sick with a lot of other things. In fact, some of the more common causes of premature death are not even discussed in terms of you know, a sedentary lifestyle. People not being allowed to go out of their houses to walk, interact with others. You know, do sports, have a healthy and normal life that is being impaired right now. And that is by far one of the greatest causes of premature death. Uh, eating crap all day long, not being able to leave your house. That's not good for you by any stretch of the imagination. You don't have to be a damn scientist to decide this. And by the way, people deciding on the way we live are not even scientists anymore. We're talking about Bill Gates, who's what? A business owner? That's basically what he is. He's not a doctor. Even doctors are very much in favor of doing these things. So their own credentials really don't validate their opinion as to how free or not I should be. They have no power over that. That's something that's entirely on each one of us. What choice you make every single day. Are you driving a car? Well, every time you get in a car and drive, you could have a car accident. You could get injured. You could die. Still, you choose to take that risk because you still decide to live as a free human being. That is something that is no longer cool in the new normality. Now, you're supposed to give up your freedom and let a politician or a business owner you know, even though there are some of the largest, most powerful, richest business owners in the world, these are the guys that are going to be deciding for you. So how did we reach this point? Well, this has always been the case. And you see, you know, like The Guardian for 200 years, you know, you solid institution. How do you argue with anti-vaxxers who believe they're on a noble mission? Well, this scientist, Mike Bar Bartlett, you know, I'm sure he's a you know, genius in his field of medical research and science? No, of course not. He's just yet another progressive clown that just keeps repeating this vomit time and again like many other unoriginal clones like him. They're all basically the same. These progressive nothings, death of humanity, the examples of, of human decay that, you know, type away this bullshit, they are all the same. They're the most boring. I spent like five minutes looking into this guy. I would shoot myself if I woke up in his shoes one day. The most unoriginal, boring, lame, you know, lefty, politically correct clown you could think of. I mean, nothing personally against the guy, but that's the only conclusion I came up after five minutes of looking to what he does. It's always the same progressive nonsense. And this is the kind of crap that gets repeated time and again all over the media. It's not just The Guardian. It is CNN. You know, that you're Don Lemon or Don Lemon or whatever his stupid name is. That idiot, same thing. More famous, more money, sure. But in essence, it's the same nothing people that don't have... A personal opinion about anything. They just repeat like clowns whatever they're told to say. 
And that is the way we are living right now. It's been made, and this is not ac accidental. This is all very much on purpose and very much organized. The media is mostly owned by these large uh, conglomerates, the pharmaceuticals, some of, of the most powerful people, and the, basically the elites, right? The most powerful people in the world running things and realizing, man, I can pretty much enslave people and no one will complain. We could take the Chinese model into the West and people are fine. I mean, we just have to move a, a few pieces here and there, make sure the media keeps repeating the narrative about the anti-vaxxers who are, you know, it's a pandemic of the anti-vax, even though the vax does not stop you from getting the disease or spreading it to others by any, you know, this is completely agreed on. It does not stop either one. Still, you're forced. This is from Belgium. This is not um, a, a conspiracy theory. This is happening right now in Belgium. They have people with their QR you know, the, the COVID passport so has to access hot. This is in pretty much, you know, most uh, most places uh, uh, across the, 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 the Western civilized world. But it's not only that, you're getting a label. You're getting a label. It's changed in color by each day. And that label means you're allowed to go into restaurants, hospitals, you know, uh, 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 other places. This is the way in which you're allowed to f live like somewhat of a free person if you get your little uh, bracelet that day. Changes each day, but you just show your QR once and then they're just controlling. I mean, we're this far from just labeling people that haven't been vaccinated. This is something that has been suggested and they're trying it out in the media, see how people react. But they've said that they're looking to put a label on those that haven't got it yet. I mean, you could do the opposite and do what they're doing in Belgium, which is just put a label on people that have complied. So you have complied, you're marked as someone that has complied. Okay, you're allowed access to these establishments. You haven't complied, you're not. This means that people have to police one another. The guy doing this in a restaurant, in a bar, is not a, a, an elected official. He's, he's not a, a, a cop. He's just... A normal person policing other average, you know, normal uh, people on the street. We're policing one another. This is how they want us to live, in constant fear and always complying and giving up your, your freedom and liberty, whatever is left of that. Passports uh, under your skin, so at an FS. A NFC a chip under your skin. This is the stuff of, of conspiracy theory, right? Oh, it used to be, I, I used to laugh at people that said, we're going to be wearing a chip. I was like, you know, dude, that's never going to be happening. And honestly, I still think that this is insanity. I mean, and, and it is, there's no question about it. It's not a matter of my personal opinion. This is insane. Now, is it really practical? I mean, they can force you to do the, the phone thing. You have your chip already. Instead of having it under your skin, you have it in your hand, in your pocket. But you still have a chip. Now, this thing of having a chip under your skin, I thought it was conspiracy theory. So when I found this uh, epicenter Stockholm and says, Hey, members, don't forget to register to next week's chip and beer after work. Chip and beer. You know, So they're, they're giving it like a cool, funny, funny name. Chip and beer as in you know, chips? No. At an actual chip. After work on Tuesday afternoon, join us and greet new members to our buzzing community. And why not get a chip implanted while at it? You, you may be thinking, that is bullshit. No, no, it's not. This is actually happening in, in, in Sweden. This is from, from the BBC. So this is actually something that is happening in, in Sweden where people, and you use your, your copy machine, you're allowed to buy stuff with your chip. It's super practical. I mean, I'm sure you're like a damn dog with, with a chip under your skin, but who cares? You know, freedom, liberty, those ideas are stupid and outdated. So in Germany, they're all very much in favor of this. They're already doing it and they're finding people that haven't complied already. And they're happy with this. Of course, they have a history of, you know, liking a authoritarian, horrible regime. So why not do it again? You know, why would you learn your lesson? Doesn't make any sense, right? Well... At the end of the day, the reason why all of this happens is because uh, you think that people want to be free, but that's not true. And this is like, you know, Santa Claus or, you know, a tooth fairy. You think these things and then one day you grow up and realize oh, that that is not real, right? Well, let me, you know, tell you about Santa Claus not being real and about the tooth fairy not being real either. It is not real that people want to live free. People want to live without any sort of responsibility. That's why they give up freedom so easily. 
That's why you're seeing people so happily complying with all of this. It's less than 1%, maybe 0.001% of people that actually want to assume responsibility for their own actions and their own choices. Most people want to live in a world where they have no responsibility, whatever. They're more than happy to give up their liberty to an authoritarian regime, a strongman, some dictator, someone stronger that gives them no choice but to comply. And they're happy with that. Most people want to have someone like that to, you know, make it look as if they had no other choice but to comply. No, I, what, are, what other choice did I have? I had no other choice. I had to comply because they're going to be throwing me in jail. So I comply. But they like it. They love it. Most people love it. Most people don't want to live free. Most people are you know, barely people at all. Like this guy writing this crap over at you know The Guardian. You look at these empty vessels of you know shells of a human being. But that's what most, most people are. And the majority of people will give up their liberty like that, especially if you give them a small economic incentive so as to work like a stooge for these assholes all day long, man. People actually willing to make a sacrifice, put some skin in the game. You will find very few of those. It is simply what it is. It's a comfort zone. It is It is easy. So what's been happening in, in this last year was that People in in the West, especially the, the, the most powerful uh, elites, some of these, you know, the, the pharmaceuticals, the, the big conglomerates, some of the richest people in the planet, some of the most powerful folks in, uh, in planet Earth, decided that, look, we can just borrow the Chinese model. Apparently, we are with that okay as well. I mean, it used to be that it was... Um, you know, horrible to watch, you know, a, a social credit system like the one they have in China, right, where your face is scanned and your phone is, you know, alerting people around you that you're not a good citizen. But apparently, people in the West are very much the same. That's one of the things I've always struggled with trying to explain to you guys that most people everywhere are pretty much kind of like the same. They give up freedom. They give up the liberty without even... You know how you regain liberty and freedom? Look at history. There's only one way of doing that. We're getting closer and closer to that, that point. There's no other way. There's no other way. If you want to be free from tyranny, that's the only path you have. Right, and that's some of the things we talk about here in the channel as well. But before you reach that point, people will normalize the most horrible things you could possibly imagine. If you think Germans were some different kind of alien evil beings back during World War II, they normalize that. Keep in mind, try to put yourself in that position. They normalize what they were doing. Politicians were saying that was perfectly fine and it was immoral to be against that. Talking heads. Famous people, actors, actresses, the, 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 the famous people of the time were all very much okay with that and not in the long. Your uh, radio hosts would have agreed with all of that. It's of course we have to put these people in trains and take them away. They're a danger to everyone else. Kind of like an anti-vaxxer, right? That's the new uh, narrative they're going for. If you're, if you're opposing what? The fourth, fifth, sixth a booster, you're anti-vaxxer. Even if you got a couple of them already on you and you're saying like, enough, I don't want to participate anymore of this experiment you're going for, you don't have a choice because you're demonized and pretty much forced. You're not just demonized. You're physically forced. You're submitted. It, depending on where you live, this may be happening already. You are fined every month if you hadn't complied in places like uh, Germany right now and in, in Greece. You're not able to live if you don't comply. And this works very well for people, which I think I've established quite well that people are willing to give up their freedom so as to not assume any kind of responsibility. I just did what I was told. That's why I elect my officials. That's why I voted for this guy or this other one. I just want to have no responsibility whatsoever. That's what most people want. They don't want to have any responsibility. That's why they're willing to give up their freedom. If I'm jailed in a cell, I have to worry about nothing. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. You, know, you have to watch Wally, the, the movie, the, the Disney movie, Wally is prophetic. It is a fantastic movie that if you understand the underlying message, you see what's going on. You're going to be getting like a, 
you know, universal income of some sort, living like a damn animal and having no rights whatsoever and be happy about it. That's basically what we're going at. This works very well for, you know, the Bill Gates of the world. Some of the most powerful rich people on the planet that see you as sheep. That's all you are for them. You're just something to take advantage of, exploit and make more money out of your blood, you're, right? You're, there's, you're squeezing every drop there is out of you and people are happy with that as long as they have to take no responsibility whatsoever. They're okay with that. And the third part of this, so you, you have the elite, you, you have the, the mass of stupid, willfully ignorant sheep, and then you have the politicians that are like in your, you, like in your animal farm. You, know, you should read that book as well. It's very important. Like in your animal farm, you have the politicians that are like, we can really get away with this. We can force people to wear a chip under their skin or in their cell phone, and they're going to be not only okay with that, they're going to be encouraging it and looking forward to it and demonizing and destroying those that don't comply. You know, sign me in for that. That sounds wonderful. As a politician, politicians are people that naturally want to have power over the rest. That's what they became politicians in the first place. That's pretty much like a universal thing about all politicians, wanting to have the power to change the society they live in and the people around them. It's having the power to tell others how they should be living, right? That is pretty much universal for pretty much all politicians. Even those that want to give you freedom, they want to be able to do that for the rest. They want to normalize what it is that they want for, for other people. And it is very, very tempting for them to abuse power naturally, of course, Give up a politician power and he will not give it up. It is going to be extremely rare to find that kind of person. It's pretty much non-existent. It doesn't even make it to the top of the, of, of the um, you know, a politician ladder that they're climbing, if they are of such, uh, of such nature. But you have the politicians that love abusing power when giving the opportunity, social control. I'm going to be controlling people every single day, uh, every single second of their lives, of course. Elite people, all of these three combined to the madness that we're witnessing right now. So get your ducks in a row, be prepared because this is not getting better anytime soon. It's been already, what, like two years and this is, you know, the least uh, dangerous it is, the less freedom we have and this is what we're normalizing right now. So what if something comes that is even less dangerous than before and you don't even know that you got it because it is so subtle. Maybe you just have like a, a, a little cough and that's, Dear God, it is even less dangerous than before. Stop the world. That's what we're seeing and that's what we've normalized apparently. Folks, see you on our next video. Have an awesome day. Take care.